How's it going guys? It's me Richard Plunger from the Papa Doom Geek and today guys I got to the review of the CM Stone Quickfire TK Mechanical Keyboard by Cooler Masters. Now this is really one of my favourite keyboards that I've ever used you know, for a mechanical keyboard. Now, if you haven't used a mechanical keyboard before, I really suggest going to your local computer shop and having a go at one of them because they have them on display, just smashing some keys, and you can see why, you know, mechanical keyboards really make a difference in gaming. Now, for people out there, again, who haven't used them, you would know that, you know, back when, you know, mechanical keyboards just used to come with, you know, you know, computers. Now, these days, a lot of keyboards are these membrane uh, keyboards that actually have that spongy feel to it, and you know, I mean, they're good, but at the same time, if you're a hardcore gamer or even just a gamer, you really want to get a mechanical keyboard because it really does make a difference in gaming and also in typing in general. Just you know, the response of the keys is just amazing. Now, going in particular to this keyboard, this is the Cherry MX Brown of its two other, you know, you know, brothers and sisters, I guess. Um, it comes in MX um, Blue and MX um, Red. Now, in particular. Uh, the back plates also match that, except for the brown because um, the back lid of brown would probably be really ugly. So they've obviously gone with white, which is also really nice. Now, going to the keyboard itself, you can see that it is a nice portable size for taking out to LAN gaming to, you know, any any place. If you're going to take it away, um, it's really nice because it's really nice and small. Now, as you can see, the num, you know, the num pads or the num, the num, I don't know, that side basically is integrated with the arrow keys. And it, the only downside to this is that, you know, you do have to use the num lock to basically enable the arrow keys or to disable them to actually use the numpad. Now this is probably only 90% of the time that where you would actually use the numpad for, you know, different things. And you know, some games do actually use them. Um, or if you're going to actually use the arrow keys, you might have into problems because you have to turn it on and off. It's not a big thing, but it's a something that to consider when actually purchasing this keyboard because, you know, you have to sort of think, you know, is portable a really nice size to have? with you know, less features or sometimes is it good. Now going to some other things about this keyboard is what I really like is the Windows lock feature. Now the Windows lock feature enables to actually lock the Windows keys because sometimes you know when gaming you actually hit it, you know, it'll go out of its window, you're back at the desktop and you're like what's happening, you're trying to get back in the game and you go back in the game and then you've lost that race, you've lost that match or whatnot. Now it's a really nice feature, it's there a lot of keyboard, a lot of high-end keyboards do have this sort of lock feature, but for this in particular, for this keyboard in particular, and for its price, it's a really nice feature to have. Now it does have its multimedia keys, you know, your play, your stop, back and forth, um, volume up and down, and also it does have, as you can see here, um, your LED controls. Now it has three different modes, like so you've got a pulsing um, light, and you also have got your highlighted where it, has, it highlights WASD, and it's arrow keys, which is also really nice. You can also um, lower the brightness, and increase the brightness. I like, I like to have my brightness really up. I always work in the dark, so it's really nice to have um, in there. And you can also turn it on and off, which is also really nice. Now, one of the great things about uh, this keyboard, it does have an end key rollover feature, uh, which uses USB, uses the integrated USB cable, so you don't have to use any other cables, like you know, a PS2 connection. Um, for the people out there who don't know, a, you know, end key rollover is, uh, it enables you to use all your keys at once and the computer recognizes. Now, if you are using this on your Mac, you know, you may have some problems because the Mac doesn't actually support this. Um, but most of you guys out there who are actually probably looking into this keyboard, you know, will be using this on a, a Windows computer anyways. Now, from my experience, uh, you know, when using this keyboard, it's, it's, it's really nice. I mean, any mechanical keyboard is really nice. I mean, in particular, this brown one, it's not too loud, it's not too soft. It gives a nice little response to it. Um, it depends. I, I know that Cooler Masters have been, you know, locking out uh, certain regions with certain, um, you know, different, you know, brown and, you know, blue and red and stuff. But I think now they make it available to every region now. Whereas I think it was before when they first released it, it was sort of locked to each region. Like, you know, one particular region will just get brown, another region will just get blue and stuff. But now you can pick and choose, which is also really nice. Now, uh, one of the things before we move on is it has a function lock key here. You hold it for three seconds and then it turns off. And that enables you to use the function keys and you turn it back on, hold it for three seconds, and then it turns back on and you can use the multimedia features. Um, saying that though, some games actually use the F F1 keys. So, you know, it's something to remember. Like, you need know, something to oh, have to hold it for three seconds, do that. And it can be a bit annoying, but it's not really a ball breaker for the actual keyboard itself. Now, going to the back of the keyboard, 
Um, it's, you know, it's the back, it's really nice. Um, one of the nicer things about this is it does have this flip out, um, you know, pads at the back, which is also really nice, really grippy. Um, it's not anything uh, like, you know, some keyboards when you turn the back, it just has these really small rubber stoppers and like, how does this even work? Now these things are really strong. I've used, I was using this on a glass top, you know, worked really well on a mat also. Um, awesome. Now, also if you put this down here, if you can see, close up, it does have this sort of redirecting feature of the USB cable. Something really small, but something also, you know, quite considered, you know, if you do have, you know, you don't like having your um, USB cable coming out the back, you like to have it on the side or anything like that. It's also braided, which is also a really nice feature. A lot of companies don't actually use braided cables, and I don't know why, a lot of high-end, um, you know, some companies would actually use a braided cable, which is also really nice because you know the cable is gonna get, you know, pushed around, you're gonna, you know, scrunch it up and stuff, and just to have a braided cable just makes a lot of a difference. Now, if you come really close up, it does have, you know, your little lights for your num lock and everything, it lights up, and your caps lock, and your scroll lock, and all that stuff, it's really nice. Um, one of the also, you know, nicer features, I would say, or not really a feature, is the logo, um, you know, implications on the keyboard itself. You know, you've got a small little logo up the top here, it's not backlit, so it's not in your face. Um, it's also on the back right here, and nothing on the front, so it's really simple. Um, you know, some people actually don't like having logos of the, you know, the brands of the actual companies on the keyboard itself. So, I mean, I think they've considered that. I'm not too sure if it's just something they've just done. But if, if you know, like SteelSeries, Razer, a lot of other companies, they have their logos like in your face. And it's not really a bad thing, but sometimes, you know, some people don't really like that. Now, if you want to look actually at my full review of this keyboard, a whole written review, you can go on my site, thepuffinamgeek.com. I have a link to the actual review uh, or the written review of this keyboard with all the different features and specifications and all those little nitty gritty stuff. But, you know, this is a keyboard I'm just talking about, how great it is, how pricey it is, um, which I didn't talk about, it's under 100 bucks, how about that? Um, yeah, so the price of this keyboard is under $100, really cheap. A lot of mechanical keyboards out there that you find which, you know, are not that great are not under $100, you know, so this is one of the cheaper keyboards which is still really amazing um, for its size, for what it does. Now, it doesn't have any macro keys, now this may be a break of force, you know, some people just because they use macro keys in certain games like WoW, LOL, um, other games which actually use or implement uh, macro keys which make the game a lot easier. Myself, I don't really use macro keys, so it hasn't been a big difference to me, but I can understand where some gamers would want to have that feature where this keyboard does not have. Now, I'm not too sure if they could have. They could have added a, you know, a, another top layer of the keys or somewhere in between. It would make it a bit more bulkier, but you know, just to add maybe even a couple, you know, just in there for you know, some of the gamers who actually do use it. Now, other than the actual keyboard itself, I really did wish it did come with a carrying case. Now, I know it's quite stupid to say, but one of the things, um, you know, being a portable gaming keyboard, is it would be nice if it did come with a carry case, even a sleeve if that. Um, something simple, something small, but it makes the you know longevity of the actual keyboard a lot better. Anyway guys, I hope you like this review. Um, it was just a, you know, a general, um, you know, we're just talking about keyboards and stuff. And if you did like this, hit the thumbs up button. And you know, if you like my content, why not subscribe? And hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.